All right, well, greetings and welcome to SnowRunner. Now, hopefully this time we won't have a horrendous issue like we did the last session where my voiceover was messed up and had to do a different re-voiceover. So, uh, yeah, this should be working fine now with me uh, double tapping up and down. But uh, if you noticed, we have a new starting background because uh, season 12 was finally uh, pushed out to the public. It was downloaded while I was doing other things. So uh, now we got this new pretty visual whenever we load up. But, you know, it'll probably be like once or twice that we ever get to actually see it in my playthrough. Because I like to prefer to start the actual game and then actually record. But there is one thing I want to double check, and that is my mod setups. Because I definitely added more, but I also took away a few. And one of the mods that I actually took away before and I have brought back is the realistic logs transport. Because uh, another mod that I was using, yeah, I added more trucks, but considering that it took up 200 megabytes i outweighed that over this and the mr bus's wheel pack and as much as i don't like the wheel pack mostly because of how it's a separate mod that is required of other truck mods that he uses she it helicopter train station because what the train station does is they make that tire pack and then they make like one megabyte worth of mods of trucks, which is good, but the tire pack costs 80 megabytes. And I kind of just wish that they would make the truck packs that are like 15, 20 megabytes a piece and then I just pick and choose. But I guess if you're gonna, you know, do a tire pack or if you're just gonna recreate tires in general and then make like 20 other trucks at the same time I guess having the tire pack and then like a truck pack mod that has all the trucks in it is a good way to compile it all into one setting but you know it's just my personal preference that I don't like the idea of having the pack and then having to select and choose different trucks that being said we have a new Paystar Twin Steer. Because, uh, you know, since I got the pack, I said, well, might as well grab the Twin Steer, the Harvester. We also have, uh, it's somewhere around here. Oh, here it is, the Dreadnought Twin Steer. Which is, like, the in-between of the BHF and the 714 Twin Steer that I'm currently using. So, it's slightly better but not op better like it'll it'll get the job done but it won't like you know traverse the land rocket itself off to the side and just basically say screw you to the floor and do whatever it wants which is what the 714 does and then we got the uh the quack pack because i thought that was hilarious that uh they actually made a truck mod that incorporates a uh, Disney a little bit Nah, trademark cap are not sponsored so we got three trucks that are each called uh, Huey Dewey and Louie and then we have Donald which I actually tested and for some reason has like two variants but neither of the variants are different from one another so it's not necessarily two variants it's just the trucks listed twice in the store I don't, I don't understand, but yeah, whatever. So we have Donald, uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. It's a uh, kind of hilarious. And then we have a Von Grad, uh, Viatak. What I'm trying to pronounce it as, Viatak. But uh, I kind of like the regular Von Grad in the game, but. Uh, it's missing a few things and of course obviously we got the lock server and the boss but not much else has changed 
uh, I got rid of the Zeke's DLC trucks because like I said, the four trucks were nice, but something about how heavy of a load that it put onto owning, well not really owning, but you know, subscribing to the mod, uh, just seems like a big headache. And I know the mega cab, whoops. All right, we're going all over the place now. But yeah, the mega cabs here, I know these are heavy load memory trucks, but that's because they have a lot of detail. The other four trucks, uh, although had some detail and a lot of parts, I think the memory leak was from the, uh, the unique, I guess you can call it hauler mod that had attached to it, which was, it basically had this weird ability to turn logs into a rocket. And that was cool and all. I wanted to see it. I wanted to showcase it and use it, but 200 megabytes just for one rocket. That, that, that was just too much. So instead I just went with getting the, the Mr. Buses wheel pack and then a couple other trucks to, to tie me over to make the pack worth it. And it also kind of leaks into this Bart Swiss Army Knife. The Bart Swiss Army Knife Paystar has some tires that can only be accessed through the pack. And then I have uh, Quackers and a few other things. The Nemesis is just Nemesis. It's just OP. And then we have the uh, Bruxa, which um, I remember when I first started the game and started trying to use mods, the Bruxa was actually one of my go-to trucks. But I think it costs like 30 megabytes, which is fine at that point in time, until they decided to do the, uh, the memory restriction. And that's when we had problems. Because that was, it was either between the Bruxa or another truck, and I didn't want to have to choose, so at that point I just gave up. Now we have more memory, so I can choose more trucks, but surprise, surprise, the Bruxa got its, uh, got its data more or less erased. Because, obviously, um, Mr. Buses decided to, uh, take out the tires and put them as one tire pack, and then all it has, all you have to do is just add the Bruxa on top of that. And then we're good. So... In the last session, unfortunately, what ended up happening, obviously, we already saw the highlights and all that nonsense and had to go through that headache. But basically, we got uh, another twin steer, the Paystar uh, 5600 twin steer. I wanted to get the original so that way I could then use the modded variants because that's kind of what I like to do is I like to grab the original and then use the modded variant. And then, of course, we got the Logging Servant and uh, the Wolf Elongated truck mod. So we could uh, start using that. It surprisingly does not have a dead axle like I uh, originally expected when I saw that lifted tire in the back. Because I know one truck, this thing, the DLC truck, uh, the Dairy Longhorn. The original of this one, because this is the mod variant. Uh, the original of this one has that lifted axle. That is a dead axle. It cannot be used. It cannot be lowered, I don't think. And even if it can be, it doesn't have power going to it. So it's just extra tires for the sake of having extra tires. And it's kind of terrible. But... Uh, the wolf kind of disregards that and does something better so now we have all big girls set and ready to go I kind of want to store the original twin steer because I want to use her for Alaska since she gets uh, got the chain tires already so we'll just put her in storage she can uh, go take a nap and we have the make cab here I kind of want to fix this thing we already altered it 
to have a better engine, better transmission, and better suspension because it was not handling Wisconsin very well. Like she was absolutely having a fit trying to go over the rocks. Because of course rocks had to be the devil and had to basically prove my, you know, my point by uh, being all over Wisconsin and making it one of my most hated territories. But we had to go there to get the, uh, the Paystar twin steer. And then what I want to do for the scout truck is I'm going to actually remove some of these, uh, items. So sell that, remove the bar. Move this and we'll add back the stock bumper. Remove the special bumper and we'll put the light mount on it simply because uh, it does kind of look nice. I mean, I could go with the, the special bumper to add the 7000 series lights, but you know, the honeycomb lights. However, uh, let's remove those, rear bumper, but however, I don't know, just the stock or not stock, the, uh, well, I guess the stock ish scout that I want to use of this vehicle, it doesn't need anything fancy because it doesn't need to be towing anything. So it doesn't need all of the towing capabilities, all the special add-ons. Keep the bed cover, keep the lights. Uh, I removed the Baja fenders because I didn't like the way they looked. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep those off. Keep the rock slider stuff, snorkel, that's all good. Uh, we don't really need any tow hitches, so we can remove that. That's not necessary. Remove the hitch. Although, I guess we could still theoretically use that for uh, emergency situations. Since this is an emergency truck. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep that. That'll be fine. But when we get around to using... The true hauler of this variant of this truck variant and even further going to using the op variant then we will uh think about using all the special stuff all right so we can uh put her in storage we won't really need her for a while Plus, I kind of want to use the Chevy for the next area anyways, just because to go grab all the stuff. Uh, all right. So when it comes to our missions, so we basically set everything up to do the final missions in the last session. We did all the, uh, the drill part gathering stuff. Can't remember, can't remember what else we did. I think we told a trailer or two around. I don't know. But we have a couple of trucks sitting out here. I actually went and put the original Paystar, the original Twin Steer Paystar, out here with the logging trucks because these three trucks here, the Elongated Wolf, the Z2 Log Servant, and the Paystar, are all going to be doing the logging mission. So, the only thing we need to do now is get two metal beams for the not a drill mission. The oil rig drill, which is in Smithville Dam. And I don't know if we really want to go and get another truck. Well, I guess uh, we're going to actually need. Oh, we're going to need a lot of things. Oh, dear. 
We need a truck with high saddle. And we need a truck that can bring the oil rig drill to the drilling site. Fence get back out here. We need you. That was out, big girl. We're gonna have her bring in the drill. Uh, we need two metal beams. That's gonna require four cargo slots. Although, I guess technically the BHF could do all that. That's a lot of trucking around, because we still have to get... We have to go to the warehouse to get the metal beam. We would then basically have to avoid the drilling site. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. Never mind. My bad, Twin Steer, false alarm. So, we'll take the BHF Twin Steer. We will head into town. We will grab the the drill. Because if we grab the drill first, we can unpack it, use the elevator lift to lift it, and then come into town, grab the metal beams, pack the metal beams, and then we can make our way back to the drilling site. Also, why is it so quiet? Is, is my game muted? No. I, I can hear the rushing waters in my headset. What the frick? For some reason, the music's not working. Nah. Right. I guess my editor will have to put in some elevator music for no reason. Until we can apparently get the music back. And then we just need a truck with high saddle to drag the trailer all the way to the drilling site. It'll be the last thing to do, but it is something we need to do. And we need to consider that, because, uh, most of our other big girls are, uh, having a girls' night out over in the, uh, logging station. So, they can't really help us right now. Although, depending on how much... Oh, I was gonna say how much money we make, but then I just realized I'm an idiot. I, uh, am going to need a different truck. To haul the big container. Uh, we could make either the GMC or the Kodiak do it. We do have the Navstar. Because I pre-ordered this game when it first came out, obviously. So otherwise I wouldn't have it. We do have a Western Star. Although the Navstar is actually way better. I mean, not power-wise, but... Fuel-wise, and the fact that it's got all-wheel uh, all drive, which will just help it better in control. We have so many things. Ah, there's one of the trucks that's uh, part of the Quack Pack. We can use that temporarily. I think we should do that, actually. That way we can uh, test them out, see how they feel. And then eventually use the modded variants. So we got an SI-8V. I don't know what the 2850 is. I, I can only assume they mean 2000 torque. It's almost 3000 torque. It's big, it's heavy, and it's powerful. I mean, we do kind of need that, but I need to make sure that you can get high saddle. Because some trucks like, the Paystar Twin Steer cannot do high saddle. Okay, she can do high saddle. Slap that on there. Uh, engageable all-wheel drive. Yes. Just in case. I didn't really want to have to dig into the DLC trucks, but... We are kind of... Restricted now. We don't really need any of that. Uh, advanced heavy, just in case. Yeah, we're kind of restricted on what we can and can't do. More engine power. Stock. No suspension. We don't technically need tires, although, now that I think about it, we do. 
because we're going to be going into dirt and mud territory. Also, this thing has no mud tires. I'm disappointed. So it's a good thing that we got the uh, the quack pack. Because, you know, at least the train station understands that we need to have mud tires in a mud running game as, you know, snow runner. Like, chain tires are not exactly good. They're good on ice, but not in snow and mud. They're trash. Also, the lifted tires are not changing, which tells me that those are dead axle tires. Oh, no. I'm going to be very upset. I want to go with... Uh, I kind of want... Honestly, I kind of want the all-terrain tires. They're not going to be as good in mud, but... I don't know. I like their style better. Who are the ATHD 3s Sell the highway tires. Everything else we, uh... Can't really do anything about. Uh... Why do those parking lights get rid of the original parking lights? I mean, I guess if you use this, the sun visor, you'll want it. And I'm gonna not do that. For now. Uh, remove the horns. Everything looks good. Ooh. I like the roll cage. I mean, technically it would be a barrier, but... Or an external cage, but... It looks fancy. We're gonna go with it. Uh... Snub heated? Or heat shielded? Um... I like the originals. The originals are good. Jat HD2s. Uh, blue. Nah. I'm thinking orange. Well. I didn't have to think long for that. Snow cup. Alright, girl. We got a job to do. Gotta make sure that you're ready for it. It's raining! Turn on the windshield wipers. Alright. Yeah, the all-wheel drive just basically confirms that that's a dead axle. Not just one axle, it's two dead axles. It's, uh, not much of a help. But, uh, we are going to be dealing with a heavy tanker, so... Just going to have to deal with it. Alright, girls, let's see. Ultimately, we need to go get uh, the metal beams. I think what we'll do. My gosh. Our big, big girl just absolutely dwarfs the. Uh, whatever this thing is, the, the Western Star. Which, you know, the Twin Steer is Western Star. So. She's basically dwarfing her cousin. It's kind of hilarious. Alright, so the trailer's up that way. Which kind of means we're going to have to leave. Yeah, we're going to have to leave this truck here. For now. We'll come back once we get into the town storage. And then have her drive all the way up to the factory. And then we'll start the uh, the process of fixing the drilling site. So uh, it's time to skip. One stupid attempt later. All right. Well, we're back at the garage because uh, mm, apparently 
after I trekked all the way over there in the BHF twin steer to get the oil rig drill. Uh, it's a five slot cargo. So we need something bigger. Well, not necessarily bigger, but we need a, a truck that can actually haul a five slot bed because unfortunately none of the twin steers I uh, can do that. So we're just gonna straight up take the nav star. And we're gonna find a five slot cargo bed somewhere in here. I know I got plenty of them. We got the uh this thing. Which is a six slot cargo bed, but you know. Uh potatoes lemons, I guess. But we got plenty of beds that can actually properly haul. Yeah, apparently I have no money. Wait, I don't have any money? How much did I spend on upgrades for the, uh, the other truck? Apparently a lot. I only have $3,000. Well, that means we're going to have to rely on... Uh... The OP beds or the AGL beds kind of unfortunate or we can get the ggms sideboard trailer which is a five slot this is perfect the ggms is are uh, pretty nice there's only four of them and two of them are curtain side trailers which i showcased in the last session kind of sort of a little bit well basically wait is that also a five slot oh it is but you know what? We're going to go with the GGMS because, you know, it's fancy. And also because, uh, it costs a thousand dollar. Alright. Now I gotta go, uh, make our way back to the service station. This might be a bit of a problem, though, when it comes to the Navstar, since we have to make our way through here. Um, we can probably try to go this way, actually, because that's all dirt. But I know this will be all thick mud. And I don't really want to try to go uphill with the drill. That becomes mud going over the bridge. And I guess that kind of becomes mud, too. Alright, we're gonna detach the trailer temporarily. Check in with the tires. I don't really think I can buy anything, unfortunately. That's a yikes. I need something that's kind of sort of good in the mud. Oh no. We have reached a problem. And that problem is, is that I have no mud tires. Uh, tragedy. Tragedy has befallen me. Scout. Scout 800. You gotta go. I'm sorry. But, uh... I hate everything you stand for. And you don't stand for much. Especially since you like to fall over a lot. So, raise suspension. For the Navstar. Absolutely got to change out the tires. Yeah, we'd probably go with chains. Probably would do better with chains. Not going to do much better in mud. But at least she'll more or less be useful for something. Got the low saddle. Spare wheel. I don't think we'll need that. Definitely. Oh, I don't have enough money for that. I was going to say, we definitely need the advanced medium wench, but, um, mm. we don't have the money for that. Although I just sold tires, so you probably go for that. And that'll be it. I don't think I can add anything else. 
Yeah. So advanced winch, sell the stock. Uh, we'll keep everything else. Not gonna really worry about the way she looks other than paint job. Change the paint job. Black? It's not black enough. Oh. That's like lava camouflage. Kind of weird. Oh, I actually do kind of like the way that looks. The light blue. Yeah, let's go with this light blue. And of course, we got to do the snowrunner cup to officialize everything. All right. Now we can go and properly grab the oil rig because I was, I really was thinking that the oil rig drill would be a four slot container item. But unfortunately, uh, it is not. Catch trailer. That's fine though. We will, uh, just have to make do with what we got now. All right. Now let's actually get this thing. There it is. There's the big, uh, the big chicken. The enchilada. The tiny turkey? We'll call it the tiny turkey. Yeah, you know. A big turkey is too much. You're gonna have to throw that back out for like a family of ten. You know what? We got the Western Star in place. And I have to say, the moment that I was getting her over here, I have to say, like, what the actual frick is wrong with her suspension? Because she was bouncing all over the place. I'm going to do some highlights of it, but, like, my gosh. Like, what the actual frick is wrong with this truck? All right, so everything's ready. Uh, we'll turn on the beacons, but they're gonna turn off the moment we stop the engine. So we're gonna leave her here. And then we'll head back over to BHF Twin Steer. Because we got her out to grab the, uh, what do you call it? The Oh dear. We're having audio problems. We were gonna go get the metal beams, but if you notice... I don't know if this is gonna pick up in, like, the PlayStation audio recording, because that's where the visual is coming of the game, but... Yeah, it, it's... It's annoyingly silent, as if the truck is turned off. But... That is me hitting the accelerator and the game is telling me, no, the handbrake's on. So if I turn the handbrake off and go in reverse, the engine is clearly on. The truck is turning. But there's no engine sound. So we're going to have to leave and come right back to see if maybe turning the game off and turning it back on will actually uh, fix the problem. We got to do the, uh, the caveman brute force way of fixing technology turning it off and turning it back on all right we're back in the game i can hear the wind finally 
I can see the turbines, but that doesn't really mean anything. Ah. And we hear the big girl. She's loud and proud. All right. So now we can actually properly do some trucking by hearing the roar of the beast. As we make our way to go get some metal beams. So we have all the trucks set up and ready in their respective locations. The Navstar is waiting. Ow. Frick you and your pizza joint. Yeah. Why you gotta inconvenience truckers like that? No, well, anyways. Yeah, let's do the fixed wire for the, the fun of it. Because we can. But all the trucks are in their respective locations. We have... Uh... What was it? The 57? The 47 NF. The 47 NF is waiting to bring in the big piece. While the Navstar has the uh, the drilling rig. And I know that the Navstar doesn't have... Well, obviously we know from uh, earlier that it doesn't have any mud tires. So... We're gonna play the the long road train game. And we're gonna have the BHF and all her immense glory. Yeah. Basically babysit the Navstar. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be doing nothing there, girl. You're gonna have your engine on. You're gonna do some of the work. Now, we better uh Lift off suspension. There we go. Because we got the heavy stuff on. Alright. Whoop. Bit of a lag on the spin there for the camera. Kind of weird. Yeah, frick that tree. We gotta go around. Sharp turn. We're practically dragging the Navstar. And the Navstar is just not having it. Trying to go through the mud. And the thing is that when we get the metal pipes over there, I don't want to just start dumping the pipes into the, uh, the drop-off, which is kind of what we should do. Yeah, high gear. I know that's too much. But, uh... Alright, we're gonna have to leave it in low gear. The Navstar is struggling too much to... To require another gear. To require more speed. But anyways... The aim is kinda loud in my ear. But, uh... What we're gonna do... We're going to bring these trucks over to the drop-off location. We're not going to drop anything off. But we're going to... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to get around those trees. I might just have to wide swing. But we're going to leave the trucks where they are at the drop-off. So that way the... The 47F Western Star can make her way over here. Oh, that's not the turn. Where's the turn? Oh, we're nowhere near it. I was prepping for nothing. So yeah. I want all the trucks to be at the same location at the same time. So that way we can congratulate them all at once. Like the good girls that they are. Although, I am disappointed now, sir, that you don't have diff lock. This would be so much easier if you did. Whoop. Or at least it'd be a smoother ride. Because part of her struggle is that half her tires are kicking and the other half are not. And that's basically just 
not getting us anywhere. But the twin steer, or in this case, the BHF quad steer, is uh, not having any problems. She could probably go through this backward bind folded. Like, come on. What's wrong with you, girl? If you can't go backwards blindfolded through the swamp, like the, uh, the BHF quad steer, you know, you're doing something wrong with your life. Come on. You see how easy that was? See how fast she just kicked into gear backwards? Like, come on. Your lazy butt needs to freaking quit being a big old crybaby. Alright. Uh, she's uh, definitely gonna get hooked onto the uh, the tree there. Alright, I think what we're gonna do... Is, weirdly, we're gonna back it up. And pull her forward. Smack that tree, no big deal. Reverse. Hi, see how easy this is? See how stupid you are, Navstar? Alright, and then we'll move forward. And hitch the back. Give me... Ah. There's too many wench points. Not enough reasons to care. I just want... There we go. The inner uh, bumper, more or less. Whoa. Whoa. Wench is a little powerful. We have lost wench audio. That's, uh, a bad sign. We have not lost engine audio, though. But I think... If we're gonna have audio problems... Then I think, uh, there's not really much I can do about it, because I already did the turn off and on method, which... Did kind of work. But, uh... It's not a viable strategy to get him back the audio. I mean, it could be a factor of things. Multitude of variables that's causing the audio problem. It could be that there's too many trucks on the map. Could be that I have too many mods installed. Or it could be a particular mod that I have installed. Or, just in general, there's too many items on the map. Maybe the Navstar is just that big of a bit and is uh, taking up too much memory. Uh, I'm trying really hard to try to throw her into high gear to see if I can just yank the Navstar. But that drill might also be a problem. I mean, it is, you know, a five slot drill. Five slot cargo drill. It's probably three times heavier than the, uh, than the metal beams that I'm carrying. But we made it to the drilling set. Ah, I was kind of hoping that little boost of speed that she got would be an indication that we can start actually doing stuff. Why is there a trailer here? What is that trailer for? It's clearly got to be for a mission because it doesn't show up on the map. Yeah, that is not a normal trailer. All right, we'll turn that engine off. Detach. Shut down the BHF 
quad steer. All right. And now we got to go and bring the 47X NF. Girl, I swear, if you mess this up, we gonna have problems. Attached trailer. Woo. Snappy. All right. Let's go. That was uh, not a good start, all things considered. I saw those tires spin. And if you're spinning on asphalt, oh, we're going to have really big problems. This trailer is intense. Oh. Ow. We're going to have to be uh, very cautious of the power lines. And of the light poles. We have lost engine audio. Ah. That is, uh, kind of odd. And that was from, like, switching into the cockpit view, too. Is it possible to get the engine audio back if I turn the engine off and back on? That's a no. Alright. So, I think our best route is to go the main route here. Try to avoid as many of the poles as possible. And then we're going to have to, unfortunately, deviate down this dirt path. Over here. And then cross the bridge. And that should make us get to the drilling site. Ah. Uh. We can hear it rev up as we shift gears, but we can't hear it Whoop. as we're just generally driving through. Ah, sorry, truck. I had to make as wide a turn as possible because uh, we're definitely going to need all the space. Yeah, that... That non-audio garbage. It has to be something that I'm doing in-game. It has to be the mods. Which I can't understand why it would be the mods. Because I don't have that many modded trucks actually active. The only two that are on the map right now. Oh, three actually. Are the BHF. The Wolf. And the Log Servant. And... Ow. Both the log servant and the wolf are not active. I mean, obviously, the, I can't drive all the trucks all at the same time, necessarily, because, you know, one person. But it's still weird. I'm going to need all-wheel drive for this. Yeah, come on, girl. You got this even with your two dead axles. All right. She did it. But yeah. Um, I can't really imagine that it's the trucks. Because there's only three of them. Two of them are not active. They're just sitting there doing nothing. The other one we've used already several times. And it's not had a problem. So... I don't exactly understand what could be the problem. Maybe it's just the amount of trucks. So there's there's three in the logging station, which would be the Paystar Twin Steer, Ow, the Wolf, and the Logging Servant. Come on. Yeah, frick you rocks. At least she's got the power to do this. I'm glad I upgraded the engine. So, the Paystar Twin Steer, the Wolf, the Log Servant, obviously the BHF, and the Navstar along with the 47X NF.
But again, I still have to question why. Because not being able to use all of the trucks at the same time. Oh, this is going to be sketchy. Ah, we have to wide load this. Turn on the beacons. Yeah. Turn up the bacon. Whoop. Alright. Yeah, not being able to use the trucks all at the same time, I would think that the audio wouldn't have a problem with that. I don't know why it would disperse itself between the trucks. I don't, I don't even think that's how audio is supposed to work to begin with. All things you know, considered in programming a video game. Like... And I think that if something is active on the map, that it just has audio dedicated to it. Oh, did we high center? No, we're kind of digging into mud. Uh-oh. Although the trailer could have high centered. That might be a bad thing. Oh dear. Turn. Wait, what? What the heck am I grabbing? That tiny bush helped me? Thank you, tiny bush. Uh, but now we're having... Now we're having front tire issues. My reverse sound effect is going. Bro, what the heck? Okay, yeah, the I think the trailer got high centered because that was uh That was pretty harsh. And I lost front tire traction. But anyways. Yeah, um I don't know. If anything, it could also just very well straight up be... Oh, I'm going to have to do something drastic and dangerous here. Never mind, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work at all. I was going to go over the hump here and hope for the best, but... Yeah, that's not happening. Not even the slightest. But if anything, it could very well be the recent... Um, update. Maybe they missed something while trying to add in the season 12 update. Oh, the trailer just dug into the ground. I uh, lost winch audio. Um, I need the farthest tree possible. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, ah, uh, come on. Just dig through the ground. Yeah, we're good. We got this. Yeah. That advanced heavy wench is a lifesaver. As per usual. But yeah, it could have just been the regular games update that maybe something along the lines just malfunctioned and they might need a hot fix because before we weren't getting the uh the music audio which is now active but now we've suddenly lost the engine audio which i would argue is the better of the two i would much rather hear the truck than to hear the audio which is or the, uh, the music, which is trademark copyright and not sponsored anyways. Wow, we just blitzed over that, uh, that bridge. I think I remember last, uh-oh. Last time that I tried to, oh, frick, no! We high centered! Which is odd, because, you know, reasons. Maybe that'll help? Ah, the dead axle was causing problems. Well, not really. Well, maybe. Maybe if we try... Going a different... Route. Come on. Ah. 
We might need to get our big girl over here to help us. We uh, seem to be stuck. Let's grab the BHF. Oh, see, now we can hear her. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with... the uh, the Western Star. Why, wow, we can't hear it. That seriously seems more like just... A game error, maybe. Like I said, it could have been the update. Something might have just went faulty with it. And there's not much I can say or do about it at that point. Let's go, girl. Turn your engine on. Do some of the work. There you go. Ah, that trailer's kind of digging into the ground, though. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna say that's good enough. We need to get out of the way. Alright. Swap back over. Oh. Do it this way. Also, I'd kind of like it to not be nighttime. Thank you. Uh, the, uh, the Western Star still has no engine power or engine noise. This is awkward. Because the modded truck has her engine going perfectly fine. But the, uh, the vanilla in-game DLC truck is, uh, not doing too hot. Come on, girl. Prove your worth. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. But you know what? Now we'll back up. We'll back up. We will park this thing kind of towards the trailers. Like the legit trailers that are over there. My uh, husky is woofing at something. Apparently something is spooking her and all the other doggos in the neighborhood. Alright. This will be a good spot. Hopefully the trailer won't sink. Alright. We can now deliver the metal beams. There we go. Cargo management. Please move your vehicle out of... Who to what? What? <laughs> Excuse you. That's the construction zone. Seriously, I backed up to get this thing out of the construction zone. Only to realize that now it is still in the construction zone. Ah, trick you, camera. Alright. Well, like I said, at least you have the power to do this. Let's get onto dirt. There we go. I don't want to park it in the mud and then have it sink. Wait, was she moving that whole time with the handbrake on? What? There's no way. I'm going crazy. Alright. Here are your beams. Ah, stage completed.
All right. Also, let's remove the wire. Now, we got to get the nav star here. Also, uh, the BHF lost her uh, engine noise. Let's go park her over near the trailers. Yeah, that, that's 100% just something wrong with the game. It, like I said, it's a variable of things. It could be there's too many trucks. Could be the new update. Could be too many mods installed. Even though they, you know, they limit consoles anyways, so... I don't see why that should be the issue if they're limiting the consoles. That should be a non-issue if they're limiting us. But okay. Alright now, Star. It's all on you, more or less. Everyone else is uh, waiting for the drill. Not the, uh, not the emergency drill, like, you know, a fire drill. No one likes fire drills. Granted, they're necessary, but we don't like them. Because that's just a, ugh, I have to get up off my butt, go away from my desk, and go stand in a circle with everybody else. You know, I have to be around people. Seriously? She's too... As I was getting mad, I had to, uh, I had to cough. She's two feet inside the zone in your building. I'm pretty sure there is nothing in that location. Uh, let's go grab the BHF. Also, apparently, her engine wasn't turned off because I can't hear her engine. There we go. Her engine's off. Go back to the Navstar. The Navstar apparently has her engine running. Cargo management. Unload. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Shut up. Alright, well, the stage is complete. Uh, the nav star is going to kind of need to do a loop around in order to get out of here. I seriously wonder why that trailer is here. But okay. Yeah, sorry about your fence, but I'm also not sorry because of the fact that you told me to move my truck and it wasn't even in the way. All right, let's be super cautious and park the Navstar over here on the outskirts next to this wooden stump, which should mean that uh, nothing should interfere with this location. Period. If you have a problem with me parking my truck there, I'm going to actually have to break you in more ways than one. All right, engine sound is out. Fantastic. Uh, no, the trailer, it's dug into the ground. Twin Steer, I need your help. Oh, we had some amount of engine noise. I just need a tiny bop. Just a little, just a little push. Just a tiny nudge. There we go. <laughs> That'll work. All right. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. 
I need another little nudge. I knew I should have just had the, uh, the BHF do this job. Bah! There we go. <laughs> Works perfect. Every time. Yeah. First site has been constructed, not a drill. We're back in business. Let's spit up those drills. Much appreciated. All right. So, let's see. Out with the old, that's a Smithville Dam. Okay, so we have absolutely nothing in, I'm gonna accept that contract. Winter stores. Yeah, we have nothing in Black River. So aside from the logging mission, we have completed Black River. There is nothing for us to do here. But I have already set up trucks for the logging mission. So with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, return every truck that we have. It's unfortunate that the Navstar is not going to really be able to, to go back. Unless we decide to delete the trailer. You know, it only costs a thousand bucks, but I would like to be able to save as much money as I can, all things considered. So the Western Star, she will uh, recover. And unfortunately for you, girl, you're going to have to go because, uh, yeah, first off, you don't have mud tires. Second, your suspension system's trash. And third, you basically didn't do anything. Yeah, you hauled the rig from the factory over to where it needed to be dropped off. But you had like two feet left to go and you somehow dug into the mud and then got the trailer high centered. That would have never happened with the BHF twin steer. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to go and uh, your modded twin sisters will have to uh, do the job better. Because I know they will. They're modded. They know what they're doing. Like, maybe if we absolutely need, like, a basic truck and we can't use a modded truck or if just it's a simple mission and I don't feel like the modded truck is needed for the uh for the mission then maybe maybe we'll come back around to this truck or a similar truck but nah you unfortunately disgraced the snow runner cup name you gotta go and with that we finally sell one of the dlc trucks it was an expensive truck which actually means we could probably buy a better one uh, not sure if we're going to buy anything right now. We have a lot of potential. We have a lot of ducks. Hmm. We could go with the dreadnought. I kind of like to know how the dreadnought handles. That one just says dreadnought re. Rear steer. Oh. So one is not a rear steer? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you make two of them? I mean, you know. Gives you a variety. But still, it seems kind of awkward. Uh. Let's see how the, uh, the train station modders, trucks handle. Ooh. Logging frame. Oh. 
we can retire the paystar before she even has a chance to do her job. I kind of want to do that. Uh, it's long logging frame though. I need medium logging frame. Five point flatbed. Holy frick, that's long. Uh, we don't have medium logging frame, do we? I mean, it'd be kind of silly to put medium logging frame on a big truck, but... Yeah, it's kind of looking like there's no medium logging frame for this thing. We definitely could get that for... Uh... One of these trucks. Ah, hey. It's Louie. So, Huey's the highway truck. Donald is the 49X. Dewey is the NF1424, which doesn't have a, a center axle or a dead axle. What kind of tires does Louie have? So far, all generic stuff. Oh. EMG Carnivore Dually? Those look pretty cool. Also, the dead axles tires are changing, which kind of tells me that they're not dead axles. They have power. Oh. So we have dualies and then we have wides. I kind of want the dualies. These are the mud tire variants. Ooh. Chains. Oh. You got spiked treads. That's dangerous. Well, we don't need spikes. Uh, all right. Mud claws. I think the uh, the mud claw dualies is what I'd like to go for. All right, so <laughs> I just realized there's a little bit of a problem. Western start. There's a T at the end of that. It's supposed to be Western Star, but you know what? Well, uh. We'll let it go. It says it has no all-wheel drive capability. Really? Well, I guess stock it doesn't. Wow, that's gonna take most of my money. Purchase and deploy. Customize. I at least need that all-wheel drive. Diff lock, engageable. Get rid of the uh, unlocked. Autonomous? I'll think about it. Advanced. And then obviously we need to put in the dually claws. So those ones, right? 48 inch dually claws. Yeah, because the other ones are... Uh, MTs, I don't know what MT stands for. I guess the monster truck. But they were single sets nonetheless. So now I got mud tires. Good, good. Stock suspension. Woo! Bouncy. We might need the heavy. Only because we're going to be hauling logs. 
the raised just kind of soft suspension. Yeah, we'll go with the heavy. Absolutely need high range. I will not accept anything else. That's a lot of engines. We're going to stick with the stock engine, and if it doesn't have the capability to pull the logs properly, or to, you know, do any kind of towing properly, then we will think about upgrading the engine. Also, we have absolutely no sound in the, uh, in the garage. Medium log frame. That actually tore uh, into our power to weight ratio. So maybe one engine up. Uh, increased power and durability at the cost of fuel. Sure. All right. No. Body upgrades. We don't need any of those. Get rid of the horns. Oh. Why are there two of everything? Weird. I still kind of like the barrier. With that. Dock stuff. That's fine. Uh... And keep the stock rims. I would like the orange that I had earlier, which is not present at the moment. I want the black and orange. We have to scroll through a lot. I'll be very disappointed if there's no black and orange setup. Wow. I went through that whole thing. And there's no black and orange. There's a black and blue. Black and red. Uh, we'll do white and yellow. Do more yellow than white. That is just a little unfortunate. Hood ornament. Wavin. Dragon. You know, I don't think about it. I don't think I ever gave the Paystar Twin Steer a hood ornament. Maybe I did. Maybe it's, uh... Oh, yeah, because I remember it, it aimed down more than all the other hoods. Alright. So, let's test the axles real quick. Yep. Okay, so it's full rear steer, or full rear powered. And then just uh, a simple change of the suspension mode. All turn on beacons. Ooh. That's a, that's a ducky sound. Oh, it even turns. Gorgeous. That is absolutely fantastic. All right. Let's, uh, let's make our way to the logging station and, uh, remove someone from active duty. All right. We made it to the logging station and look at all our big, beautiful girls just sitting around doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, lock servant. I was kind of hoping that, uh, Louie would actually make that turn a little tighter, but... 
That's okay. Ah. They're all looking fancy. Also, I just realized they're all blue. Why are they all blue? Uh, the twin steer was green, but I decided you know, while I was doing my, uh, my prep phase in the background that I was going to change her color because I, I don't know, just something was not right. And then I ended up just making her blue. And I didn't even think about it until just now that, oh, every logging truck that I have is blue. And I don't want that to actually be a thing. Hence why Louie is a uh, yellow and white. We could probably change the, uh, the logging servant. There's not much we can do with Wolf though. Also, we have the music back. I don't know what's going on with... Uh... With the audio. That's just really bugging me. Uh, we're gonna refuel... Let's see, target. Uh, we're too far away from Louie. We're gonna refuel... And maybe repair Louie. Oh my gosh, girl, you are struggling! Okay, well, I guess it's probably a good thing that we're swapping uh, the twin steer out for Louie because uh, twin steer is not doing too hot. So repair the West Star or the West Start. It's really weird that it's called West Start, but okay. And then we're going to refuel from the Paystar to Louie. There. They're all fueled up and ready to go. We're going to recover. We are then going to remove this add-on. Sell it. As uh, it's not necessary. Put the curtain side trailer back on. And then we can uh, put her in storage for Alaska. All right. She and her big cousin are uh, ready to go for the snow adventure. There are quite a few things that I need to do. I probably will just go ahead and get rid of these originals because uh, they don't seem to really do anything. They don't seem to have the proper capabilities to handle the terrain. This is just the first level, and these trucks are struggling. Like, that is a big problem. If these trucks cannot handle the first level of the first map, you would think that if they were to add new trucks... That they would have at least play tested them on the first map and said, well, if it can't even beat one thing, one mission on the first map, then it needs a buff. It either needs all wheel drive, it needs mud tires, it needs race suspension, it needs a more powerful engine, it needs something. It cannot just sit there and be like, oh, well, Authentically, this truck doesn't have diff lock. Give it one. It needs it. Well, normally when they upgrade this truck, it doesn't have, you know, mud tire capabilities. Give it them. Otherwise, don't put it in the game. I don't care how authentic it is. It needs to be able to do what I need it to do. Which is to actually play in a mud runner game, a snow runner title, and be able to handle the mud and snow that you put in the game. How do you not think that through? Anyways, I need to drag the Navstar back over and debate whether or not she needs to also be uh, retired permanently because, yeah, I don't. I don't want to deal with the uh, the no diff lock and no mud tire nonsense that she's got going. 
Okay, we brought the nav star back to the trailer store so that way she can sell her trailer We'll cover the uh, the BHF twin steer And sell the trailer There we go Whoops like even though the original twin steer didn't get its all-wheel drive upgrades and diff lock until the DLCs came out, it still kind of bothers me that there's an imbalance between all of the DLC trucks versus the vanilla trucks. Like in one way that's good that the vanilla trucks can do better. But only like three DLC trucks are properly better than that of the vanilla trucks. While the rest of them, and there's like, you know, 15, maybe 20 of them of the DLC trucks. And most of them are just not good. They can't do anything. They have almost no purpose. Because for some dumb reason, whoever designed them or whoever put them into the game decided that we wanted to make it authentic as possible because it's technically a quote simulator game. Well, unfortunately, when you design the game around a theme, in this case, mud and snow, and you don't give the vehicles the trucks the main thing that the player uses in the game mud tires literally this truck right here this navstar a pre-order dlc truck has no mud tires and it can't handle the mud in the first level you have done f up you have done something wrong I don't understand why you bothered putting the truck in the game to begin with. If it can't handle basically the tutorial level. What is actually wrong with you? To think that that's an okay thing. Like I said, I'll probably keep the nav star for something simple like what we just did where we just needed an oil rig but it only has chain tires so yeah i'm not really excited about that so we'll keep the race suspension and we'll keep the chain tires on her and then we'll put her in storage so she'll be more for like, you know, ice running. If we need to haul something big and it has to go across a bed of ice, that'll probably be her go-to. But aside from that, nah. And there is uh, no reason to spend any more money on her. I probably won't even need that. If I can find something better... I'll probably just go ahead and uh, sell the nav start because we can't use diff lock and diff lock is kind of a necessary thing actually now that I say that out loud yeah this truck gotta go it's just unfortunate she can't do what she was designed to do which is to haul stuff because for some reason the developers didn't want to give her all of the power and or all of the potential and capabilities that any of the normal trucks can do. So the Navstar goes. Unfortunately, the International Pace Star might actually have to go, but at least she has all wheel drive and diff lock capabilities, race suspension, bigger tires, and better engine swaps, but those aren't going to be available until we actually go into Alaska. Like the Fleet Star could have done better than some of those other trucks. 
And the Fleece Star also does not have mud tires. So, yeah. So, the Western Star 57X. Yeah, we're just going to straight up get rid of that. I can already tell just by its looks. It's not going to do well. Get rid of the originals of the uh, 49Xs. Caterpillar. Uh, I'd like to see what upgrades you have. Uh, you have the 27 torque. 2700 torque. Stock suspension. That's not good. Dead axle. Gotta go. Uh, the Brigader? What does the Brigader have? An A6V? Okay. Not bad. Raised and tuned custom. That's a little bit better. Like, I know I need to finish up the logging missions because I know that's going to take a long time to do, but... Uh, no mud tires. I'm just actually infuriated now by the DLC trucks. Go. I'm not going to keep the GM. So at that point, uh, the highway truck GMC and the Kodiak, those all have to go. That is uh, quite unfortunate. I kind of wanted just to keep like one of everything. But when you just can't do the job, when you're not able to do the simplest of tasks, why should I bother keeping you around? I, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, eventually I would like to get the money to be able to have one of every truck fully upgraded as like a means to, you know, play around with them but as they are and with kind of needing to be able to buy other trucks it's a uh, it's just basically an asset that's not being used properly or not being used at all if anything the fleet star at least the fleet star managed to help me and finally, I'm going to keep the Fleet Star just because the Fleet Star is good compared to every other truck that they've given me. Uh, sell that. Sell that. I'm surprised you even had high range. But I'm selling it anyways. Got nothing there. Nothing. 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 Got to remove the saddle just in case. I don't want there to be like 20 of them. Like that. Sit there and tell me that. Oh, you got a bunch of these saddles. It's like, uh, I don't need them. I mean, they're free, sure, but I don't want them just to be there for the sake of being there. Get rid of everything. Start it out with the flat caps. All right, retain, sell. Scout trucks. We'll have to test those later. Crocodile. What even is this? That is a weird old looking truck. Uh, 
It has mud tires. Ooh, it's got Tega tires. Ah. We have potential here. Raised suspension. It's got all wheels, uh, all wheel drive always on with diff lock always on. Okay, that one. That one's a maybe. We can probably keep that one. Because it has all wheel drive, it has diff lock, it has Tega tires, and it's got race suspension. Like, it's actually viable compared to everything else. Kenworth. No all wheel drive. And it cannot be installed. Get out of here, you disgust me. Alright, last truck. And then we'll probably just sell the rest off camera. Uh. That one has all wheel drive and diff lock always on. And it starts with mud tires. That one we might keep. Uh. Weird. Always on. This thing. This thing is capable. But what kind of tires do you got? Off-road. And chained. You gotta get out of here. Alright. We have 1.1 million Dawa. From all of the DLC garbage that has been cluttering up our garage. There's probably more that we could sell, but those were the big heavy hitters that were uh, causing my aneurysm. So now, we could just go ahead and go on a shopping spree, but we'll wait on that. Like, ultimately, I want to probably get one of the Bart Pay stars and... The, uh, the Harvester Paystar. As a means to have a better Paystar Twin Steer compared to the original that's in the game. I cannot figure out where these trucks are. There they are. Alright, so we're going to have to set up for the logging station. I think all we have to do is just uh, drive over there. Let's see. Oh, uh, the BHF is just... Yeah, the BHF can, uh... Actually, I think we can just go ahead and retain her. She should be good. Unless there's something that I need in this location. I don't think there is. Because out of all the... Missions... Uh... We should be able to get everything... In Smithville Dam for the missions that are required to be in Smithville Dam. Yeah, so I'm not going to worry about that. So, uh, we can retain the BHF. Let's go find Louie. Uh, Louie's going to be working with the wolf, so... We kind of need her to move. Just a little bit. Whoop. All right, that'll be good. Yeah, we'll leave the all wheel drive on. All right, change truck, logging servant. Yeah, it's time for the big haul. So, where is... There it is. Uh, lumber for the locals. Double check. Make sure we're tracking it. So we need two more at the lumber mill. We need three at the farm and three at the town storage. Uh, getting three to the farm shouldn't be a problem. Getting three to the town storage is where we're going to have actual problems. Because... Uh, 
if we try to go up this way, I've noticed that, uh, that's a bit steep. And, uh, that's going to be a problem for logs. And then there's also this super muddy, uh, washed over area. So it probably wouldn't be smart to go that way. But anyways, local businesses need lots of lumber and timber. Yeah, lumber timber, timber lumber. It's good that the timber station is walking game. You have to pick up some logs there and haul them to the customers. You may need some special equipment for loading and transporting. Holy frick, it gives us 22k. My gosh. All right. It's raining. We need the headlights on. Do we have beacons? I don't think we do. We do not. All right. Uh, well. Let's go load up. What? This is going to be intense. All right, let's start with uh, pole bars going down. Very nice. Also, we have sound again because reasons. Ray suspension because we're going to need it. Logs. Load them onto the truck. God, they're heavy. Load them onto the trailer. Oh my gosh. This is going to be intense. Bars. Nice. Bars. Locked and loaded. Fantastic. All right. Move forward. We got to give room to the other girls. Get the wolf. Uh, we're going to definitely go ahead and drop your tire now. Oh, that was a nice lift. All right, Louie. Watch how it's doing. Gonna get the medium locks. Load them whoop, onto the truck. There we go. Then onto the trailer. Man, I think suspension was super flexed right there. Move forward. And a little bit to the right. Probably should actually move a little bit to the left, honestly, because we got stumps to the right. Now, I don't intend on dragging all the trucks all in one go, because obviously we won't be able to tether. Uh, won't be able to tether all three trucks to each other. But, uh... I just want to line them up. Have them ready for the transport. Alright, Louie, drop your suspension. There you go, girl. Here we go. Woo! High range is a bit fast, but you know what? It's good. Medium logs. Loaded. All right. Actually, we'll go ahead and take the handbrake off. Because I know the game likes to be finicky with the idea of leaving the trucks with their handbrakes on and then tethering them. They don't like that for some reason. They keep them locked. Which kind of sucks. All right. Let's get the big logs rolling. 
Oh my gosh. This is going to be one heck of a transport. To the lumber mill and quite easily at that and I have to say that this uh, this Z2 logging servant mark 5 perfect absolutely stunning it, you know at first I thought it was gonna be a little too slow to do the job but after obviously giving it the full engine upgrades and all that oh yeah we were able to do that like it, you know, was nothing. We did that with a uh, pretty decent amount of speed, too. So, now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take her back to the garage. And, uh, uh how are we gonna get back to the garage? I guess we'll just go this way. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the garage, sell the trailer, and then we'll uh, pick up where Wolf and Louie are, and deliver the medium logs. Alright. Oh, bit of a skid there. Sell the trailer. Recover the truck. I absolutely love this thing. I have no means or reasons to bother uh, selling her. I do want to see about changing the color, though. So that way they're not all the same color. I think that was just kind of a coincidence. Hmm. Black and white? No, it's more like gray and white, but... Gray and white might actually be pretty nice. About that. Alright. And, uh... We could send her back out, though, to do the other medium log mission. Well, not medium log mission. The other half of the medium logs, but... Excuse me. Uh, kind of a hiccup burp combo that just happened there. Gross. But I think what I want to do is I want a truck that can do low saddle, which actually would basically just be the, uh, the Paystar. Yeah, but the Paystar, most of her upgrades are in Alaska, which is where I actually want her stationed. So we need something else to be able to run a three slot medium log trailer that we have. P512. Maybe. We do have Dewey. We grab Dewey. Let's grab Dewey. And uh, I'm going to do the second engine upgrade because that seems to do fairly well. At least with Louis, it's doing very well. High range. We will do. Uh, we'll just do regular raised until we start seeing suspension problems. Man, she's bouncy. And of course, we got to do mud tires. I like the carnivores. Oh, they're so nice. 
I kind of want to go with those. I'm surprised there is it in the uh, off-road category because they are excellent in mud. Uh, and then the chain tires. All right, let's go with the carnivores. I really like those. Yeah. Those are nice. All right. Uh, advanced heavy. We might need the autonomous though, because this is a smaller truck. We just uh, made the center of gravity higher with the ray suspension. Um, I kind of like the flat caps. Yeah, let's go with the flat caps for the fun of it. Engageable all-wheel drive. Absolutely need that. And we're going to do saddle low. Uh, let's give Dewey the chrome cap visor. Parking lights, remove the others. Uh, cabin air conditioner for the fun of it. Remove the horns. Oh. Resupplies. I didn't even think about that. Uh, roof light bar, maybe? Okay, so if we do the barrier, it removes the light bar. So we're not going to do that. Dewey will be her own gal. She will do her own things. I kind of like the crossbar. We're going to go with that. Cabin protector. I don't know if we really need that, but... Sure. Sure. Exhausts, flat caps, no thank you. We'll keep the stocks. Fancy rims you got there. Ooh, I like the, the heavy bead lock or bed lock. Yeah, I want to go with the bed lock. Very nice. And... Ooh, I like that. Oh, that looks pretty. I'm going to go with the military green. Cup to officialize. Hood ornament. Wyvern. Dragon. Very nice. Officialized. Yeah, morning. We can't be doing things at night. That's when the monsters come out. I don't want to deal with the monsters. So, here we go. Oh, that's for long logs. We want medium logs. We need the three slot medium log trailer. That's three short. I think it's... Three slots for medium, isn't it? Yes. Well, that one says three medium. What about the one that's for uh, the hitch? Uh, there it is. Semi trailer, three medium logs. Very nice. Okay, let's go meet up with Louie. Much like with, uh, with Louie, Dewey apparently has, uh, bouncy problems, but... I mean, that's more or less just because of the suspension. Not really much I can do about that. Alright, girls. We're almost ready. 
Dewey just needs to get into position. My gosh, she is tearing through the mud here. Whoop. I like the, uh... The airbag brake release. The hiss that she made. That was nice. I don't know if the original does that, but... It doesn't matter. So we're going to turn off the engine. We're going to load the medium logs. Alright. Our two sets of medium logs are good to go. Those look really nice. Is that because of the modded trailer? Those look so much better than the ones that are on the other two trucks. Ah. Why did I ever doubt realistic logging trailers? Alright, so Dewey's going to go for the town storage. And... Louie and Wolf are going to head to the farm. Alright. Time to, uh... To have another skip moment, more or less. Okay, we made it into the final stretch, girls. My gosh. That was just an amazing trip. I may not have face cam, but I was smiling all the way. Because these girls actually know how to freaking do their job compared to certain other trucks that this game has. And once again, this just highlights why mod support is better. It's like it's that or the devs can just, you know, not be lazy and actually... The truck just went silent. I didn't turn off the engine. Weird. Anyways, you know, the devs can actually, you know, properly balance all the trucks. Give them all all-wheel drive. Give them all mud tires. Like, they don't all have to have all-wheel drive on all the time, necessarily. They can have some of them toggled. I can have some of them with, you know, toggle diff lock and all that nonsense, but... Or you can even make an upgrade that can force the all-wheel drive and the diff lock to always be on. But, uh, it seems kind of silly that the trucks that you build for the game can't do the game properly. I will always have a problem with that. I will always, you know, have a grudge against that. Y'all, there's the engine sound again. All right, move Wolf out of the way. Just so that way, uh, Louis can do what she needs to do. We'll actually do handbrake off neutral. All right, Louie. You only need to drive 10 feet. Yeah, super easy. All right. The farm has been, uh, has been gifted their wood. That almost sounds weird. Don't take that out of context. All right. So now let's have Louie take center stage or pole position, whichever way you want to look at it. Just so that way, uh, she can tow Wolf back to the garage. Change suspension mode. We don't need the tires down. Although we will still need all wheel drive. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how well she does with rear wheel. Let's go. This is still only the second engine upgrade, so... 
If we were to do a higher tier engine, oh okay, yeah, you need all wheel. Yeah, a higher tier engine would easily be able to pull that truck. And would also probably make doing certain other jobs trivial. All right, we can detach Wolf here. She'll be good. Louie can head inside. Uh, I don't know if I really want to keep her with the medium log frame. I mean, she did really well. I mean, if anything, she can still kind of be like one of our go-to girls. So we'll just delete it for now and we'll buy it back when we need it. Yeah, that'll be good. And retain, because we probably won't be needing her anymore, because we're going to be moving back over to, well, not back over, but you, you know what I mean. We're going to be heading into a new area after this session, because this is basically the end of uh, Breck, uh, Breck River. Breck Liver. Ew. That sounds disgusting, actually. Brack liver. It'll be the end of uh, Black River. We'll be moving into Smithville Dam. Remove the trailer. Recover. Wolf did extremely well. We're going to remove the medium platform. Oh, is that what it's called for the medium logs? Weird. Yeah, we'll move that. We'll keep the fuel tank because uh, it looks nice. And it's a backup just in case we absolutely need fuel if we're going to be doing long hauls. The balloon tires are absolutely fabulous. I kind of would like to get the other wolf. And we definitely have the money for that now because we uh, sacked all the DLC trucks. You guys frick their nonsense. So, retain. Let's do a quick buy. Full engine power. Advanced. Active suspension. Uh, yeah, because stock is garbage. Stock will always be garbage. Do you also have balloon tires? You do. Give balloon tires. I cannot not have balloon tires. Upgraded twin engine for the winch. Now, of course, there's no nothing in the diff lock. Um. Yeah, we'll do the double round cap like before. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I am quite unsure. What can we do with the the roof rack? I mean, we can do kind of a lot of things, but not as much as I had hoped. Well, no, because we just can't use the articulated towing platform. Is that really what it is? I was just going to say it was a sideboard trailer. Apparently, it's a towing platform. Can I drop the... The gates? Can I drop the walls? Let me... Let me see this. Open board. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. So we can kind of use it as a tow truck. All right. Well, that's an option, but not what I want her to main. Uh, we'll go back with the fuel tank because I don't actually like the roof racks design. So, hmm. Only a single sideboard? It's kind of looking like she's not really viable for anything. 
we might have to use her as like a semi trailer hauler. Repair parts. We can weirdly put a utility mount there. I know that utility mount is from another mod that's giving that to all the trucks, but it just seems weird. I think we will put I think either a saddle high or a saddle low. We'll go saddle low. If we absolutely need the saddle high, we have the option for it. Uh, can we put the utility mount as well? Yes, we could. So many options. And it uh, doesn't clip or interfere. When I turn. Very cool. Alright. Muzzle. Double muzzle. Always gotta go double. Uh, I think for this one we will do the mud flaps. I know I said before that the mud flaps or the uh, the mud guards are kind of catch-alls from what I understand. Like they'll snag on things. But uh yeah, it's fine. Actually, I want to keep the P1s this time. Ooh. The edge guard of the truck, or just the, the edge of the truck, doesn't change color. So I can do double paint job. Oh, this will be absolutely pretty. Uh, I kind of like the orange. Maybe the red. Because this time there's not too much rust going on. And we can do the vibrant red. Bobblehead. Cup. Officialized. Store. Alright. We got Wolf. Both of her. Now we gotta get Dewey. Alright, Dewey. It's your turn. We have one task left. Don't f*** this up. Made it into town. And also while uh while doing my quiet trek through here, I actually kinda learned that the audio glitch is whoop. That was a wide swing, but it was necessary. Almost took out that pole. Or the pole almost took me out. Yeah, not in a good way. Girl, I require a steak. You can't just, you know, touch my truck and expect me to be okay with that. Wait, what? But anyways, I learned that the uh, audio glitch is, uh, in fact, the game. It has nothing to do with the mods. It has nothing to do with, you know, how many trucks are on the map. It is, unfortunately, the game, which means they're going to have to make a new update sometime soon in order to fix that but there is a way to kind of mitigate it there is a way to fix it like in game there is a way to fix it on my end temporarily and that's just basically to leave the map and come back it's not ideal but it is a workaround so we can finally unload the logs 
finish the contract. Thank you for helping develop our region. Without drivers like yourself, we would have never gotten it done. Yeah. I don't think you would have ever gotten it done even with the drivers. You seem to be really lazy. Make me have to do all the work. Ugh. Make me have to do all the trucking. But alright. Dewey and Louie proved themselves to be extraordinary trucks. Yeah. Dewey's a little banged up, but uh, she'll get through. And the uh, realistic logs, although taken for granted, were actually very helpful. Because uh, if I had not used those trailers, I would have needed to uh, actually help. I would need... We need Louis' help. And maybe Wolf's help. But, uh, regardless, let's go to the trailer store over here. So that way we don't have to trek all the way back to the garage. Because we're done here. There's nothing here that we need other than I know that trailer belongs to a mission. Uh, and we picked that mission up not too long ago. Where is it? Construction. Well, it's not that one, obviously. So we have no more tasks. Harbor delivery. Drilling equipment. That's uh, unnecessary. Silver Township. Uh, we don't need to do any lumber stuff for that until we're done with Smithville. So let's see. Winter shoes. Aha! Here it is. Or winter stores. Yeah, but they need their winter shoes. Otherwise, they're going to freeze their foots off. So, vehicle parts. So, we need this maintenance trailer that's over here. And then we're going to bring that into Smithville down to the logistics base. And then we'll need vehicle spare parts, which I believe are in the service spare hub in Smithville Dam. So, basically, we need to unlock the garage there and I think while doing that we'll also take the maintenance trailer over there we'll uh we'll get somebody to do that so we'll start that but we won't actually go about it let's bring Dewey what? ah Dewey you're getting stuck no move your trailer there you go girl Perfect. So let's have Dewey go and drop off the trailer. So that way we can uh, finalize the session. I will say, even though the logging stuff is kind of absurd in the event, in the, uh, in the sense that the amount of logs that you need to bring to any of the locations is a little unnecessary. However, it was a lot more fun than the base game missions, but I'm gonna also chalk that up to the fact that I tried using the base game trucks, the vanilla trucks and the DLC trucks. They just weren't, they just weren't up to the task. And you know, you could probably argue that, oh, well, you know, you didn't give it the full upgrades. You didn't give it all the best stuff. Well, I'm gonna also argue that some of those trucks didn't even have whoop I almost went off the road there some of those trucks didn't even have mud tires in a game that requires mud tires so it's kind of invalid to fully upgrade the truck dive Whee! Oh, nice jump Dewey that would probably be the moment where I would need an autonomous wench for Dewey because uh, that jump, that cliff, would have absolutely flipped her if I didn't land properly. Or if I even didn't have the trailer. I think trailer uh, saved her for the most part. But yeah. Um, for trucks that have no mud tires, any upgrades you give them is basically irrelevant. Because they're still going to struggle. They're still going to get stuck. More often than trucks that have actual mud tires. So unfortunately, you know, 
giving them all the best upgrades is not going to really make them shine when worse comes to worse and the truck suddenly goes into the deep end of a mud pit like this. Like that amount of mud would screw up any off-road all-terrain uh, tire truck build. And this is just like a tiny amount of mud and water. Like you should be able to get out of this no problem. Just like that. Just that easy. But no, those other trucks would not have been able to pull that off. So we'll recover. Retain. We need a truck that can tow the uh, maintenance trailer. We could probably get Wolf to do it. We can get Red Wolf or Blue Wolf. Hmm. Obviously, Louie and Dewey could do it. And of course, you know, the BHF quad steer. Maybe the crocodile? We could test the crocodile. See how well that does. I would like to know how well the crocodile does. The old school girl. Um. I also want to go pick up. Well, no, because we're going to use. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at the mega cap thinking, oh, we need to use the scout truck. But no, that that girl too powerful. Plus, uh, I already stated that I was going to use the Chevy anyways for uh, for grabbing the missions. So, with that said, we're going to bring the Chevy out. We're going to try the crocodile. Uh, okay, it's got a hitch on it. Just had to be absolutely sure that it can tow. Because if it can't, we have problems. Oh, your best stuff is... Ugh, it's all in Russia. And then one is in Yukon? Where's Yukon? Oh, that's a long ways away. Wait, isn't Yukon... Canada? Or would it say North America? Uh, weird. Okay. Doesn't matter. So, let's see. We can't really do any upgrades with you. You have all-wheel drive and diff lock on all the time. That's a good thing. So, race suspension. We're gonna get... Off-road, definitely not that. Mud tires. Tag it tires. I am itching to use the tag it tires. Because those will be so good. Then we have chains. I like the dualies. Cause they're kinda all dualies actually. Uh I like the MMD2. I'm actually going to go ahead and try the MMD2s. We will resort to the Tega tires only when absolutely necessary. Get rid of the all-terrains. They were trash to begin with. Advanced medium, always. Uh, spare tire. That's a weird spot for the spare tire. It's above the frame rather than below it. It's kind of cool. I like the uh, the tiny short round cap, but obviously this round cap would be a lot better. Can I have both of them? No. It would have been kind of silly if I could have both of them. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Ugh. Random burp. I'll do that one. Okay. Frame add-ons. Adorable. I want the roof rack. Oh, fuel tank. That is kind of cool. Better fuel tank. I think we'll need 
nearly 4,000 liters or 4,000 units, whatever you want to calculate it as, 4,000 gallons. It's probably gallons since that's what I have it set to me. But nearly 4,000 gallons of fuel. That's an absurd amount of fuel. Small sideboard. This is all one unit stuff, right? Fan body. I'm going to put the fuel tank on it. Only because uh, I kind of want to see how she performs with a little bit of weight. That sounds weird. Don't take that out of context. Uh, some visors. I like the grunchy one. Uh, lights. Huh, square lights. Or rounded. I like the squares. Ooh. I like the heavy pipe. This thing is so pretty for an old truck. I usually don't like the older trucks. But man. Side fog light. Oh, that's cool. This one has actually impressed me. Ooh, I like the muzzle. Stock is trash. Although, hmm, the snub heat shielded. Because it's dual. Ah, oh, I wish I had dual muzzle. I'm gonna go with the heat shielded then. Uh, Not too keen on the stock rims. We will go with the OMD2s. Color. What colors can you have, girl? Okay, that's the original. Interesting. It's like old school fire truck, I think. Oh, that looks sick. That was okay. Yeah. The black over the yellow. I'm going go with that. No, we can't have cup. And we can't have dragon hood ornament. I'm sad. All right, you get a six out of ten. You lose two points because I can't have cup. And then you lose one point because you can't have dragon hood. The last point is because uh, of double muzzle. You can't have double muzzle. Because apparently you just don't have that customization. But everything else is amazing. Alright. Well. With that being said. It's uh, looking to be a little long in this session. But we cleaned up Black River. Everything is done here. We can finally move on to Smithville Dam. And uh. Not too. You know. None too soon all considered that the 12th season has finally dropped. I am way behind, but eventually we'll get there. We got all big, big girls to help us. We got the twin steer. We got the quad steer. We got Huey, Dewey. Oh, well, no, we don't have Huey. We have Dewey and Louie. We don't have Huey because Huey's a highway truck, but... Uh, maybe we'll get around to getting Huey to, to helping out Dewey and Louie. And then we got Wolf Blue and Wolf Red. We got so many good trucks. And now all we have to do is uh, put them to good use. And I don't know about these Jeeps though. I say we have some good trucks. I didn't say all of them are good trucks. Alright. So we'll test some of these out and we'll determine whether or not we're going to sell or uh, utilize some of these DLC trucks. And then of course after that we'll uh, determine what other trucks that we can buy. I kind of would like to get the 714s but I feel like that's more 
end game, later game stuff. Well, not really end game, but like maybe after Alaska. And of course, we got the Nemesis for backup reasons. The dually in the super single, I'd kind of like to look into getting. But the super single is going to be the OP truck. Well, the dually is going to be uh, emergency provisions kind of truck. Not necessarily like the standard, because the standard is like full scouting, check everywhere, maybe repair some trucks. But the dually will be the one that actually goes out and helps whenever needed, whenever possible. So we got an array of things to uh, to consider, an assortment of trucks to potentially buy that can help us along the way. But we got a good fleet started going now. I really would like to know what is up with this call of boss. Why is it so long? I mean, I know it. I know it was for like logging. Because one of its parts. Yeah, this thing. This thing is massive. I cannot turn the camera, by the way. It's uh, locked in the ceiling. I can't do anything about that. What about its tires? Eh, pretty basic stuff. Although that one's the, uh... Well, they're all Z2s. But that last Z2 is, uh, excellent on everything. So some of these are good. For certain things. Other things, not so much. So like this one's not good in mud. This one's not good off-road. This one is not good on, on pavement. And then you have the one that basically does everything. And I just keep getting bigger. And then you have the mud tires that are like generic mud tires. That can't really do anything on pavement. So basically, the, weirdly enough, all of the Z2 off-road tires are busted. As expected for Z2. Then all the mud tires are generic, base game garbage, more or less. Those might be okay. The MSH4s. Tank tires. Bro! Those are sick! Aw, oh. Those are ground destroyer treads. That doesn't just break up the ground, that murders it. Oh, those are brutal. Those are tank tires. What in the frick is wrong with that vehicle? I know it's a military vehicle, but oh my gosh. I want to see those again. That's vicious. We have to get this thing for the next logging mission. I have to know how this performs. I'm going to buy it now. That is a insane amount of set of wheels. How much were those? Almost 20k. I want the biggest. Oh. That's amazing. We're going to have to put it away though. Because you know. We're done in this region. We'll, it'll have to happen for the next region. So with that being said. <laughs> uh, what a crazy tease for the next session. Well. Not next session. But a few sessions down the line. So thank you. That'll be the end of today's session. I was just going to say thank you for watching. I am too excited. And I'm jumbling my words in my brain. I don't know what to say. But that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. And we'll see you in the next session.
Also, as a side note, I actually learned what the bulk log carriers kind of do. And I found out that uh, they're not that great. Uh, they basically just allow for... Uh, for one truck to carry nine loose logs, but those loose logs as nine can be packed into one load, which doesn't exactly help when it comes to moving logs around because at that point, what you have to do is take that truck, unload the logs, and then basically load them into a different truck that'll load three into one set of logs. So, it works and doesn't work, so I guess obviously I won't be doing that strategy anytime soon. <laughs> 